Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. So this is the other type of application that I was talking about where we have a geometric situation. They're not giving us the formula. We have to figure it out ourselves based on geometry formulas for which we're supposed to be already familiar. So what's the formula for the area of a rectangle? Length times width or base times height. I'm gonna use base times height for convenience here because we're talking about a triangle in the same problem. And the area of a triangle is, that's right, one half base times height. It says the front face of a house is in the shape of a rectangle with a queen post roof truss above. So that just means a triangular shape roof. The length of the rectangular region is three times the height of the truss. The height of the truss they have labeled as X. The base of the rectangular region they have labeled as 3x. So that's nice. They gave us the diagram. The height of the rectangle is 1 more than the height of the truss, so they labeled that x plus 1. If the total area of the front face of the house is 180 square feet, determine the length and width of the rectangular region to the nearest foot. The total area of the front face of the house there's not going to be a formula for that, right? To get the total area of the front face of the house, we're going to have to add what and what. The area of the triangle, the area of the triangle plus the area of the rectangle. Let's come up with an expression in terms of x that represents the area of the triangle. So the area of the triangle is equal to, well, we need base one half the base times the height so what's the base of the triangle going to be three. good it's the same as the length of the rectangle the base of the rectangle so 3x so we're going to have one half 3x times the height which is x so another way of writing that is three halves x squared. Now, the area of the rectangle, how are we gonna find that? We need base times height, so what's the base? 3x and the height, x plus one, good. Let's go ahead and distribute that, so that's three x squared plus three x. All right, now the relationship between these that we know is that the total area is the sum of the two separate areas, the area of the triangle and the area of the rectangle. We also know that the total area is 180 square feet. So how could we use that to write an equation? 180 equals, that's the total area, good. 3 halves x squared is the area of the triangle, plus 3x squared plus 3x. What we have here is a quadratic equation, because it has a power of 2, that we can solve to find one of the dimensions, the height of the truss, and then we can use that to get the dimensions we're looking for. All right, so let's go ahead and solve this together. So we need standard form, so I'm going to subtract the 180, but I also need to combine these two. So what's 3 halves x squared plus 3x squared going to be? Good, 9 over 2x squared. So we have 0 equals... 9 over 2x squared plus 3x <coughs> minus 180. Okay, because that was our 9 over 2x squared, and then we subtract 180 over. If you don't like working with fractions, which most people don't, you could multiply through by what? 2. Since we happen to have a 0 on this side, it's not going to change the 0. And if we multiply through by 2, we get rid of the fraction. So we have 0 equals 9x squared plus 6x minus 360, distributing the 2. So that's a nice way of making sure we don't have any fractions when we plug into our quadratic formula. Another thing you can do before you plug into the quadratic formula is you can factor out any common factors. This has These all have a factor of 3, for example just to make the numbers a little bit smaller. Then you can divide both sides by 3, and we have 0 equals 3x squared plus 2x minus 120. You don't have to do either of these things, but it's something that makes your work a little easier. So now I'm going to use a is 3, b is 2, and c is negative 120. Plugging into our formula, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Let's see what we get. Negative 2 <coughs> plus or minus the square root of 2 squared is 4 minus 4 times 3 times, make sure to bring this negative 120 in there, over 2 times 3. This is going to be 1,444 over 6. 
Okay, so that's negative two plus or minus 38 over six. Okay, we have two possible answers. Negative two minus 38 over six, which is gonna be a negative number, so that doesn't make sense, right? Or negative two plus 38 over six, which makes sense because that's gonna be positive. So I'm only gonna use negative two plus 38 over six, so that's gonna be 36 over six. So what is x equal to? Six, okay? But they're asking you to find the length and the width of the rectangular region. So the length of the rectangular region is three x, and the width is x plus one. 18 and seven. And what are the units going to be? Area was in feet squared. These are lengths. Yes, regular feet, just regular feet. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like it.